and several central banks apparently, as I, as I heard from my sources, have already fully developed the final stage of CBDC. I mean, it comes in stages initially, likely through your mo mobile phone, yeah. but it's only an intermediate step. Mm. And the final stage is, you know, it's, it's small and it's the size of a, a grain of rice. Now, why is that? And it, it, that grain of rice is your entire wallet? or Yes, it's your digital ID, yeah. your wallet, uh, can be your, your, um, your passport, your key. What we found with our debit cards or credit cards is they've already now moved to the system, you know, RFID chips, technology where you just wave the thing, yeah. contactless. Yes. That is sort of the, the you know, conditioning us in this direction that yeah. in the future you'll just wave your hand because you've got the microchip the, the microchip implant yeah. under your skin each step there's a rational reason you know it's, it's easier just to wave this isn't it it's much faster because we always have to wait in the queues as everyone types in their numbers and all that the next rationalization will be well but you can lose your cards and you can steal your card mm. and then you're just waving yeah. it's kind of risky well yeah. wouldn't it be nice if you couldn't lose it and nobody could steal it it's clear that that's sort of it is almost a step too far for a lot of people because it is a violation of human dignity to actually inject something like that under the skin so um that's where you need some more persuasion yeah this concept of universal basic income has been around for around a century where everyone should get some kind of citizens you know payment since 2015 they've all come out i mean all the the big billionaires and, and World Economic Forum have come out, oh, this is a good idea, universal basic income. Well, why suddenly now? Because now we have the technology for the microchip implant. Um, and so in 2017, Bill Gates came out and said that universal basic income is a good idea, um, but it's too early to introduce it. Now, what was still missing, so we had the technology for the microchip implant, but what was missing was the digital ID hadn't been introduced. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. Okay. What to do about mass unemployment? This is going to be a massive social challenge. Um, and I think ultimately we will have to have some kind of universal basic income. I don't think we're going to have a choice. Universal basic In income. Universal basic income. I think it's going to be necessary. So it means that unemployed people will be paid across the globe. Yeah. Because there is no job, machine, robot is taking over. Um, that, that's simply the, the uh, and I want to be clear that these, these are not uh, things that I think, that I wish would happen. These are things, simply things that I think probably will happen. Um, and since, and if, they, if, if, if my assessment is correct and they probably will happen, then we need to say, what are we going to do about it? And I think some kind of a universal basic income is going to be necessary. Um, now, the output, the output of goods and services will be extremely high. Um, so with automation, um, there will, there will come abundance. Um, there will be, uh, almost everything will get very cheap. Um, the, uh, so it's, it's, uh, I think the, the biggest. I think we'll just end up doing uh, universal basic income. It's going to be necessary. Um, the, the, the harder challenge, much harder challenge, is how do people then have meaning? Like a lot of people, they derive their meaning from their employment. So if you don't have, if if you're not needed, if there's not a need for your labor, how do you? What's the meaning? Do you, do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? These are much, that's a much harder problem to deal with. This perhaps is going to be the biggest question in 21st century economics and politics. What to do with billions of useless humans? Thank you. Now we see the creation of a new massive class of useless people. As computers 
become better and better in more and more fields, there is a distinct possibility that computers will outperform us in most tasks and will make humans redundant. And then the big political and economic question of the 21st century will be what do we need humans for? Or at least what do we need so many humans for? Do you have an answer in the book? Um, at present, the best guess we have is uh, keep them happy with drugs and computer games. But this doesn't sound like a very appealing future.